Turning to some World Cup action now, more upsets as the underdogs and their supporters celebrate after thwarting the titans of the game. Poland and Colombia were the latest teams to be dealt a hearty serving of humble pie. Yi Seung Jae has the highs and lows of day six in Russia. Another round of matches and another day of surprises at the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Tuesday's action began with a Group H matchup between 16th ranked Colombia and Japan, ranked 61st in the FIFA rankings. Colombian midfielder Carlos Sanchez was red carded early in the match for handling the ball in the penalty area, giving Shinji Kagawa the chance to convert the spot kick, which he took, giving Japan an early 1 0 lead. Despite being down to 10 men, Juan Quintero's superb free kick in the 39th minute leveled the match at one apiece. It stayed that way until Yuya Osako headed home in the 73rd minute, giving Japan the 2 1 win and all three points. Staying in Group H, the next game saw group favorites Poland taking on Senegal at the Otkriti Arena. Poland got off to a rough start, handing Senegal a 1 0 lead in the 37th minute after an own goal by Diego Sionic. Senegal doubled its lead in the 60th minute thanks to Mbe Niang's right foot shot from the center off the box. Poland would find the back of the net in the 86th minute, but it was too late as Senegal would hold on for the 2 1 win. Finally, in St. Petersburg, the host nation Russia, coming off of a huge 5 0 victory over Saudi Arabia in their opening match, faced Egypt in their second Group A match. The first half was scoreless. But an own goal by Egypt's Ahmad Fatih in the 47th minute gave the Russians the 1 0 lead. That ignited Russia's offense as he hosts found the back of the net in the 59th and 62nd minute, thanks to goals from Denis Sheryshev and Artem Zhuba. Liverpool striker Mohamed Salah would put Egypt on the board with a penalty in the 73rd minute, but no matter, as Russia easily held on for the 3 1 win. The six points for Russia means the host nation are on the brink of advancing to the round of 16. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.